Alright, I want to show how to approach differential equations through the use of Wolfram's Mathematica. And uh, in particular, I want to show how to uh, plot families of solutions to differential equations. I want to show how to solve differential equations using the, in, the dsolve value function. Uh, I also want to show how to use a table to get a particular set of solutions to differential equations, and then also how to uh, plot direction fields. So we're going to start off by defining a function, y of x, and I'll zoom in a little bit for us. And um, I'm going to look at a function that we saw in our last video, or a family of solutions here that we saw in our last video we had y equals a constant e to the negative 2x plus b, or a second constant e to the negative 3x. And we saw that was a two-family parameter uh, solutions to a particular differential equation. In Mathematica, I'm going to type it in like this, and so this is a function of x. So uh, if I want to plot uh, several of the, these graphs to get an idea of what these, this family of solutions looks like, I can do as I can put my plot function down and then I'm going to put in the evaluate function and inside the evaluate function I'm going to have a table and this table is going to have entries of y of x for particular values of a and b so I need to make a list for my a values I'm going to have a go from negative 2 to 2 and I'm going to have b go from negative 2 to 2 as well so that fills out my table, and then uh, I want to plot those. Let's say let's let x go from negative three to one. So when I evaluate this, this should give me an idea. Oh, there we have it. This gives me an idea of what these solution curves look like, depending on negative and positive constants, etc. So we have all these nice, beautiful colors as well. Okay, now. This is if you have the solution to differential equations already. What if you don't have that? So let me clear y so that I can use y again. Um, and I'm going to have a solution. I'm going to call it solution. And this solution is going to be, uh, well, it's going to be provided to me through use of the dsolve value function. So this is dsolve value. And inside the dsolve value, I'm going to open up a list, and I want the equation to be y double prime x plus 5y prime. And remember your y's, even though typically we don't write y's as functions of x every time, in Mathematica you have to. So here's my equation, y double prime x plus 5y prime x plus 6y of x equals 0. That's the equation we used in my last video when we discussed solutions to differential equations. I want to solve this for y and x is my independent variable. Alright, so when I run this, oh look, I have a constant times e to the negative 3x plus a constant times e to the negative 2x. That's the c1 and c2 are my constants. And note that is exactly what we had up here at the beginning for y. We just replaced my constants with a and b. Alright, so if I want to make this if I start out with the differential equation, I want to make the same plot. Uh, what I can do is proceed, uh, proceed the same way, except the table is going to look a little different, and so I don't have to, so I don't get too confused. I'm going to write solution table. I'm going to define solution table to be my table, and then I can just plot the whole table. So that's going to be table. And this time, I'm going to say uh, that's my solution. And this, this black slash period means I'm going to evaluate uh, C1. I'm going to fill in for the value I. And CJ, I'm sorry, C2, I'm going to fill in for the value with value J. I'll give my arrow, J. Okay, and then I want to evaluate this table. Uh, I guess we'll stay consistent with our with our previous graph. Let's let i go from negative two to two, and so actually i is b b for up here, 
and or um, your CI, I guess, is B, and your CJ is the A. All right, so there's my table. Now I don't actually want to see what these solutions look like. Uh, I just wanted the table, so I'm going to put a semicolon at the end, and that way it'll suppress the output. So it, it Mathematica computed it, but it just didn't show me the computation. So now for my plot, all I have to do is say plot solution table and I want X to go well to con stay consistent let's go from negative 3 to 1 ah look I get the same picture the colors are a little different but that's kind of fun anyway um, but we have the same graph so there you have it there's two ways if you know your solution your parameter uh, your solution I'm sorry your your family already you can just plot evaluate table with those values plugged in for your constants. If you don't know, if you start off with the, the differential equation, you can use this nd solve value to get your your family of solutions and then you can use a table to evaluate uh, various particular uh, curves just to get an idea of what we're wanting to see. Okay, so um, Another thing you could do is you can look at uh, direction fields. Um, in Mathematica, if you have a, uh, a, a first degree differential equation, so let's consider let's consider the equation dy dx equals cosine y times x. All right. So what I'm going to do to to evaluate that or to get an idea of what these solution curves look like is I'm going to use stream plot. And in stream plot, what I want to do is I'm going to say 1 cosine y times x. That was my differential equation. I want dy dx to equal cosine y times x. And just to get a good picture, let's say let's let x go from negative 4 to 4 and y and y go from negative 4 to 4 as well. All right, and I should get some nice looking, uh, looks kind of like a weather pattern, and that's exactly what we have. So we have this nice square full of these beautiful arrows, and these arrows, if you trace one of these streams, that's actually the particular solution curves. And so we're witnessing here the family of solutions that we would have to the differential equation dy dx equals cosine y x. All right, now. What if um, what if we start off with that differential equation like we did with the desolve value? Can we find a particular solution here? And the answer is yes. So let's suppose we have an initial value problem. And uh, let me do the desolve value here. And we're going to put in an initial value. So this time I said I have dy dx or y prime x equals cosine y times x. And let's put in a particular initial value. How about uh, at, at the coordinate, when x equals 1, my y value is 0. So we have the coordinate 1, 0. All right, so that I put in my initial value within this list with inside the desolve value. And then I want to solve for y, x. And my independent variable, again, is x. So this should give me my solution. So it seems I've made a mistake here, uh, so let's see what happened. Oh yes, my y needs to be a function of x. Remember, y by itself doesn't mean anything. So there I get my solution to my differential equation, and notice I have this warning here that says, since there are inverse functions being used, we may have lost some solutions because we have this arc tangent, but uh, we're fine. Okay, so now if I want to graph my stream plot along with my particular solution, this initial value solution. I can easily do that by doing a show function. Show will allow me to graph more than one plot together. So I'm going to make a list of all the plots that I want. And one of them is going to be this, this stream plot. So I'll copy that. And uh, I'm going to just simplify this to be two two, two, and two. Negative two to two in both x and y direction. 
Now for my second graph, I want to plot solution 2. And let's let x go from negative 2 to 2. And then I'm going to put in an additional plot style. And this will be so in my graph I don't have blue over blue. Uh, and there are a lot of options here for plot style. Let's let, how about we have an orange graph and maybe bold. And for fun, why don't we just make it dashed as well. So that way we have, when I graph it, I should see a bold dashed orange graph. Oh, and let's see, where did I lose? Uh, I didn't close my plot function. So now when I graph it, there it is. And you can see there's the stream plot, and here this orange dotted graph is the particular solution curve that satisfies my initial value problem. There's a lot of interesting things you can do in Mathematica uh, with related to differential equations in other, in other classes as well. Uh, if you have any questions, I'd be glad to help. And I hope this helps somebody, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and I made a mistake. Ah, yes, of course. You cannot have cosine y. As cosine y has got to be cosine y of x because y is a function of x. So now I want to run it again. There I get my solution. And we do get this warning saying, hey, look, you used inverse functions because we have arctan. And since we use inverse functions, we may have lost a solution. I think we're okay here. So now what I'm going to do um, to show what this particular curve is, where it is in my stream plot. I'm going to take my stream plot, let me just copy it. I'm going to take the same stream plot and I'm going to use the show function. So I'm going to open up a list. I'm 